Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Afani. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so I don't know what was going on with the audio from these clips, but it didn't last very long. So first things first, please ignore Chandler in the background. He's snoring. He's asleep. Second of all, I'm just going to walk you through all of the steps or all the things that I used to prep the skin before my audio cut back in and actually started to make some type of sense. So as you can see, my brows are done. I used, um, I think it was the e.l.f. like ultra brow pencil and I used that in the color chocolate and then I went in and concealed my brows with my fancy concealer. And then after that, I went in with um, my Benefit Fluff Up Brow. Uh, brow wax or yeah brow wax and I used that and I really liked how my brows came out I think they were really really cute and then I used my um elf stay I think it's called stay all day setting spray I used that to kind of just like hydrate my skin and like set my skin before I even started to do the whole skin prep thing then of course I went in with my um elf no yes elf um hello hydration this is the moisturizer because i had not prepped my skin yet i just moisturized my skin and then after i went in with my elf a lot of elf products going on here um i went in with my elf power grip primer really like that and i just put that in some of my areas where i kind of knows my foundation might fade a little bit from like rubbing my face or whatnot and then, of course, I went in with my good old faithful e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and Universal Sheer. And I prepped my skin with that. And then, sorry guys, he is so loud. And then, after that, I went in with foundation. I did use the Juvia's Place Foundation. Um, I believe it's called Velvet Matte or Velvet something foundation. I don't remember. Um, but I went in with that. And I applied that with my same foundation brush I always use. It's a Morphe brush. I don't remember the number, but... I use it in all my videos, and then I did go in with a little bit of my um, Hourglass Stick Foundation, and I just went in wherever I want a little bit more coverage and kind of to balance out the color, and then I used that to um, blend in all over my face, and then we're all caught up. I have to switch cameras because... Baby, I ain't got no memory in my phone. And y'all know I use my phone to film. But yeah, so um, I'm hoping that maybe it was just the shade, the shade selection of the little thing on the website that was off. Because, I mean, I really like the foundation. It's like lightweight on my face. It doesn't feel too crazy. It doesn't feel like grimy or anything. So this is the Elf Putty Bronzer. Yeah, I know I tried this before and I was not feeling it. We're going to try it again. This is my MAC 130 brush. And I'm just going to work that in. And then just apply it. I'm hoping maybe just the shade with that foundation that I had was off. Now, as you can see, I'm applying my... Um, what do you call this? Bronzer a little bit higher because I usually apply my bronzer much lower and then it just makes my face for me seem a little bit lower than what it should be. So I'm just applying it a little bit higher than what I would normally do. And then I'm gonna just let that sit for a second and I'm gonna apply my concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna be going in with my Juvia's Place concealer. I do like this concealer, it does really well. It looks really good. It doesn't um, crease under my eyes. It doesn't have my eyes like looking crazy. It is a more yellow concealer than I'm used to, but uh, it's not too yellow. Like it does brighten up the face, but it's not too off from the color that's on my foundation. So again, I found this color via the website during Black Friday with the um, color match. That was not a straight line. The color match tool that they have on the website i do like the dope the applicator i think it's really really nice and then for my bronzer i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that bronzer out and i'm blending it up 
blending it up oh so that's what I didn't like about this okay so this says bronzer but it's giving gray it's giving very much gray um, if this said contour I would be like oh okay cool I, I get it but this says bronzer but it's giving gray so um, if you're looking for an actual bronzer I don't recommend this one only because the, the color is not giving um, warm it's giving very cool tone so I don't know if it's I just didn't pick the right color but I just feel like it doesn't give me like bronzer vibes it gives me contour vibes so for contour or for bronzer I really like the matchstick um, I haven't found that the net topped it and I feel like it has the perfect amount of I just like that two different areas it has the perfect amount of warm and cool tone like it's not too warm it's not too cold um, and it just looks really really good on the skin and I need to get some more of this as well so I will be doing that soon because baby I won't be eating no face until I get my product okay and so I'm gonna just go ahead and blend out my concealer I like to use this real techniques uh, setting brush to blend my concealer out I think it just does a really good job at putting it where it needs to be and setting it down like setting it right in the area that I'm blending it it's not having it go go all over the place I'm just gonna blend just the corners of the or the edges of that concealer I'm not gonna go all the way into the inner corner yet I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit longer just to kind of like you know stick down some more and then I'm going to blend out all of this while I wait for the other stuff to kind of get it together and I know on camera it looks a little harsh just wait on it it's gonna come together it's gonna come together I still don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair I'm trying to figure it out because my hair needs to be washed my hair needs to be something like something I gotta give at this point See, I like this brush a lot, this MAC 130 brush, because um, it don't take a lot to like blend everything out. You just tickle it a little bit and it just does what it needs to do every time. Every freaking time. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just blend around the edges of that just to like blend everything together and make sure it's seamless. Chandler has school tomorrow. It is the, what is today? The 8th, I think. It's Sunday the 8th. Chandler has school tomorrow. I'm gonna just take that brush and just clean up just a little bit. See that, how it just, no extra product. I just clean it up with whatever I have. You can do that when your face is not set down yet. Once your face is set, baby, it's done for. Um, so yeah, I'm, tomorrow is Monday, the 9th, and, um, I figured I'm just gonna get some stuff together. I wanna start planning something maybe for, uh, his class for Valentine's Day. I got some snacks. I always do, like, little goodie bags and stuff, um, for each holiday, Last year at the end, I was over it. I was done. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm sick of this. Uh, but I am determined to do the whole the whole year this time around. So, um, and towards the end, I was sick. So I really just didn't have the energy or the time. But um, I want to start planning stuff for us to do, not only with the class, but just in general. I want to be able to do stuff with Chandler every, like, once a week we do something. Today we went skating. And if you want to know about that experience and how that went, um, you can head over to my podcast because I talk about it on my podcast and Facing My Fear. And I know you're probably like, skating is a fear? Yes, baby, skating is a fear. So I talk about that on my podcast as well as, like, other stuff as well. So, um, yeah, you can just head over to my podcast um and listen to that or watch that episode 
basically yeah it's january 8th i said this year i was gonna do a whole bunch of stuff that i don't normally do um and like make it fun make it fun face my fears make it fun so chandler can experience it too um i used to skate i went to the skating rink maybe like three times i can probably count say confidently three times in my life um and it was world on wheels if you're from cali you know about world on wheels apart from that <laughs> we were not at the skating rink baby uh-uh our parents did not play that they were like no 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 no, you ain't going to nobody's skating rink no thank you so i want to make sure that chandler has like experiences that i wish i had like going to the skating rink and like all my friends they be skating it up baby they just go in with the skates i do not I have so many friends from high school that are like killer with the skates. This is just the same brush that I use for my foundation. I'm not that good on skates, okay? I, you'll know. Once you listen to the podcast, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I took him to the skating rink today and it was very, 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 very interesting um i'm hoping that we get more experiences like that and i'm gonna push myself to get out of my comfort zone and do stuff that i'm not quite comfortable with but i want to be able to experience and i want him to be able to experience look how that looks it just looks so seamless okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to set this face down i've been liking the juvia's place setting powder um it's not too like yellow for me and it's not too powdery feeling. So she's been working out. I'm just going to take this Sonia Keshik brush that sponge that needs to be washed so damn bad. So, so bad. And I need to blend out under my eyes before I do this. So I'm just going to take this powder under my eyes. I'm not going to take it all over my face. Y'all know I've been liking setting my face with something else. So I like to blend all this out really really well and then just press that in Then we're gonna do the other eye. And I just let it sit there for a little bit. I don't be stressed out about the powder. It's okay, I'll live. Before I set the rest of my face, can I do it? Cause I really wanna use this um, luminous blush. Let me see. This is the e.l.f. Um, putty, luminous putty brush. And this is just a large stippling brush. That I wanna just, I'm just packing it into that brush and then just stippling it onto the cheeks and back like so. Cause y'all know blush be the first thing to go. So it's okay if you're a little heavy with it. This is one I'm going to have to set down. I'm going to have to set her down. So I'm not really like tripping off of this because once I set her down, she's not going to go anywhere. But also, I'm going to set her down and put another blush on top. And so I want to make sure that I got everything where I want her to be. I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Maybe this one. Yeah. And I'm just going to start dusting off all that extra powder. Um, this juvia's place powder is not really one that you can like let sit for a really long time unless you have super oily skin because you're gonna feel dry okay dry as hell i noticed that i frowned or yeah i frown a lot for some reason, it's just habit. I don't really be having nothing to frown about, but <laughs> I frown a lot. And where did my powder go? 
Oh, I frown a lot and I don't want to have like those like lines in my makeup. So I'd be having to blend that baby out before I set her down. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth in Tan 35. I do want to get a lighter color just for, um, for the winter time. So that when I set my face down, I'm not like changing the color of my foundation or anything like that. Or like darkening it too much. I do have a darker color. I have um, 40 as well. And that one is a little bit darker than this one, of course. And I'm just taking that all over the face. You guys always ask me how I get my makeup to be so smooth. She. She right here. Her. She does it every time she does it. She smooths out my makeup. She like evens everything out. She makes it just so like, you know, she does it. I like her. I like her a lot. And you see, she doesn't like, she's not too much. She's not too much. And that's what I like. I'm going to take some blush. Y'all know I've been trying to find my place in the blush world. This is the e.l.f. Always Fiery. And I'm going to take that Real Techniques, this is the R400, yeah, RT400 brush. And I'm just going to apply that on the blush, brush like that. Tap off any extra. And then, and I'm barely tapping the face. Barely. Especially because I have that um, putty blush on there. It's going to really like adhere. So I'm barely tapping the face. And then I'm just going to take that. And I don't have any. I don't have my pants on yet. So don't worry about it. And then I'm just going to right on top. To really blend everything together. I feel like no matter what. You want to make sure that you're makeup is blended because if not you don't want this color that color you look like you face painted like you had a little kid do your makeup no we can't do that okay so i know i have a lot of blush on right now don't worry by the end of this video blush gonna be gone i'm gonna take my good old faithful this is the butter bronzer in endless summer and i'm going to bronze my face back up on my brush for it oh here it goes and I'm gonna just bronze up my face just a little bit it's gonna help this one has a little bit of like a redder undertone this is gonna help with the balancing of the face when it comes to um, the blush I'm not going to put too much on just because it is not the summertime no more, baby. You should not be that bronzed. I just like how it looks, though. The bronze, the bronziness, especially because my face can wash out really, really easily. So I want to make sure that I have my face balanced. I'm going to take the setting powder or sorry, setting spray. Same one. I like to dry myself in setting spray. I don't know what it is, but I feel like my face just feels like, whoo, like awaken when I do that. Before my setting spray dries, I'm gonna go ahead with some, actually, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. This is Kiko Cosmetics Makeup by Milani. No, Milano. And she's broken, okay? She's broken, but she's still good to me. So I'm gonna take this AOA Studio brush, this is the F, 19 brush I know I love this for blush and even though it's like luminous on my cheek I want to just take a little bit of that right there and look how pretty that is super freaking pretty and then when you're forward you don't see like a harsh line or whatever 
And then if you ever feel like, oh, it's just a lot, that Sephora powder is kind of like an eraser for me, okay? I can always just go right on top and blend it all in and we're good to go. All right, so for eyes, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do for my eyes. I do know that I don't want it to be too over dramatic. I want it to be really, really nice and I don't know. We gonna see. Oh, I have this. Um, this is an old palette, super, super old. Discontinued Anastasia Beverly Hills XO or Nicole Guerrero collab. This is the glow kit. Y'all remember the glow kit, baby? She's glowing. Okay, so I'm probably gonna take some of this right here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use some of that in this look too, and um, we gonna see because I really wanted to use that and I don't my mind be going a mile a minute I'm gonna take this elf uh this is in the bite size eyeshadow and carnival candy I've used this before on my channel if you guys really like that look where I did I had the red underneath and then I think I did one with blue underneath if not don't yell at me I'm gonna take this shade right here I'm gonna take this shade right here this is a Sonia Keshik blending eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend her right into my crease and into my nose contour. Let's not talk about my nose ring hanging out. And right into, like I said, my nose contour. That way it just gives my whole face some symmetry. And I wanna like kind of pack the color in there just a little bit, just so I can like deepen it up. I don't have anything in my crease right now, so this is gonna serve that purpose for everything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. This is a uh, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 16 brush. And I'm gonna take this lighter shade right here and mix it a little bit with this shade, like mix these together. And then I'm just gonna tease that right in here on the brow bone. I'm gonna do a matte brow bone highlight. So I mix these together so it's not too like pink, it's not too brown, and just matte highlight that thing. Also blend and soften those edges. I'm gonna take this um, e.l.f. Melt, this e.l.f. Mint Melt brush. It's just flat like this. She has a little bit of color in there, but I'm gonna take this light shade right here and I'm just going to put her right here. Open up my eye just a little bit. It makes the slightest difference. Plus I want it to be a base for if I end up putting on a um, inner corner highlight. I might end up putting on an inner corner highlight, but I wanna just open up that eye just a little bit. So she's not so closed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And what's crazy is people think like makeup has to be super dramatic and you have this and you have that. No, sometimes it's the slightest things that make a huge difference. I'm going to go back in with this and I'm just going to take this all over the lid. I thought I wanted to do like something on the lid. I think this all over the lid would be cute. Okay, okay. Okay, let me take this. I have all these different colors in here. Um, Daydream, 143, Glow Getter, Forever Lit, um, Kitty Cat, and Forever Young. So I want to kind of see what, I know this will sound crazy, sound crazy. I kind of want to see what 143, do I want to put a glitter? right in the middle and just tap it with my finger she's cute and I'm just putting her right in the middle of the eye nothing too distinctive just like I add a little bit of something 
Okay, so she's there and I'm gonna put some glow getter right in the center. She's a little bit lighter. She's really pretty. She gives you that like wet look. I'm gonna add some Forever Lit, but I wanna add it with a, um, what is this? A detail brush. So I'm gonna get Forever Lit and put her right there. For under my eye, I wanna do a little bit of, use this brush a little 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 bit of this um, red I'm gonna take this red shade here and I'm going to put her on my waterline sorry that was like blocking okay so now that I have that, I'm gonna just take, same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off on my pants. And then I'm gonna take um, that brown shade that's in the palette right here, and I'm going to blend that right out. Um. I think I want to add a little bit of this shade onto the cheekbones and I'm gonna mix a little bit with daydreamer like these two together are really pretty oh yeah uh-huh mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna add a little bit more or add a little bit to my nose let's see if I do it like this yeah, mm-hmm. And then right here. Do people still do no high nose highlights? I don't know. So now I'm gonna go in with lashes. I don't wanna wear like a super crazy wild lash, so I think I'm just gonna go in with some. Uh this is the YSL lash clash. Y'all know I've been la 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 loving it. I really have. I'm not going to use my applicators today. I'm just going to pop them on. And because I'm wearing these lashes, I wasn't like super pressed about wearing super extravagant like eyeshadow. I still wanted eyeshadow, but I didn't want eyeshadow to be like cool. And then I'm going to like press those together in a minute. Chai, if you like a wild and crazy lash, if you like a lash like you low-key got to comb it out type lash, but you don't really have to. This is the lash for you. Because this lash. This lash is wild. She's crazy. She's adventurous. She's untamed. But in a good way. I could do red. I could do a red lip. Okay, so I'm going to do brown lip liner. Because I know I like my red lip with brown lip liner. But if you guys did not know. Oh, this is from Gentle Beauty, by the way. This is from my brand. If you guys want... Um, to buy this red lip as a set because it comes with lip gloss, lipstick, and lip liner. You can definitely do that, but I also um, sell them separately. I sell them separately. You can buy the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the lip liner all separately if you want. So I'm just gonna take this off. I don't even have my damn uh, wipes out here. I leave my, wake up, my makeup wipes in my bathroom upstairs, so we're just gonna thug it out. Okay, so this is um, this is Christian lip liner. And I like to take her like in in, okay? And then top, so that is her. I always like sharpen her just a little bit more because she's very creamy, so just beware you don't have to apply a lot of pressure realistically i can do this and then put some lip gloss on it and be fire okay i'm debating if i want to do a red lip because once i put that red on it's a wrap this is gentle beauty's creme lipstick and candy i <laughs> i'm rough with all my makeup all of it like all of it so don't come see i barely even 
touched. I'm just gonna do a dab. And when you dab it on, you still get the color, but you don't get as much as the creaminess. It won't be like, a, like how my other, how my velvet matte lipsticks are but it won't be the full impact of the creme lipstick. And then back with the liner. And you see like the blush is not as blush, is not doing as much as it was before. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That blush be fading, it be fading. I wanna make a blush that don't fade like that cause this is crazy. I put a lot of blush on and this is all we got left. That's all we got left.